this next one is purging the kidneys. Rules when it comes to this. What are the rules, Owen? Can we remember? Just for general, basic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. You need a plant or a tree or something, timber or metal something again. No metal. So direct in your mind, direct the energy. So I'm going to send it to that tree. Just in my mind, it's a quantum thing. If you, if you don't believe in it, you can actually study quantum physics, and it's been proven that they took like a photon, a photon, and they fired it through a slit. And here we are. We fired electrons, tiny bits of matter through, but we get a pattern like waves. How could pieces of matter? create an interference pattern like a wave. The single electron leaves as a particle, becomes a wave of potentials, goes through both slits, and interferes with itself to hit the wall like a particle. But mathematically, it's even stranger. It goes through both slits, and it goes through neither. And it goes through just one, and it goes through just the other. All of these possibilities are in superposition with each other. Squeeze my hand like you 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 you, you want to kind of tell me to come somewhere because it's dangerous. We need to go somewhere. Okay. Squeeze my hand like you yeah. It's like a secret handshake. You want to tell me some secret information. Okay. And uh, then squeeze my hand like you want to hurt me. Okay. So they all carry. It's the same kind of motion. It's carrying it different. And you see his body shape changes. So it's carrying that intention with your treatment. What you do when you're doing the kidney is carrying the intention of pulling out sick energy, black, the color black, like you're sucking it up with a hoover and you're projecting it over to the tree. You're having that intention. So it's just a kind of a mind medicine. So we locate, we come off, knee gently first, off the belly button. It's around stomach 25, okay? Tell me when it starts to get a bit. Okay. And I hold now, and in my mind, I'm, I'm sensing the tension in the kidney and I'm pointing towards that tree, not towards David, not towards Jamie. But in my mind, I can, I can sense it's gone from black to kind of gray. You've now I've got a real showing of the issues and from a diagnostic point of view, can you can see, which wasn't showing itself before. So all the real issues are now starting to come. <laughs> See, tongue. Tongue, tongue. Tongue, tongue. It's full up. Yeah, it's, yeah. Raised in the center. Yeah, and, and almost even a bit of, bit of red in the middle as well. Yeah. It's going to be raised in the center because I've just pushed on her belly and forced a lot of fluid out of there into the chest cavity. Nothing. Yeah. And I can't feel any black energy at all. I can't sense that in my cartoon mind. It's just grey. So that left kidney is working harder, struggling. Is that normal to have an imbalance of kidneys with most people? Uh, mostly it's both, but it's not unusual. Yeah. The reason for that is the liver is a greedy organ. And nobody would ever want to do the job that the liver does. It's like working in a full-time chemical processing factory. So what we do is we have to kind of conjole it, make it feel happy, get it to relax. I always, I always think of the spleen and the liver as, and I always say this to everyone, is if you've ever seen The Muppet Show, the original series, there's two guys up in the balcony, oh, yeah. like two well, grumpy men, <laughs> yes you go. The internet is a completely different culture, isn't it? You said it. Everything here is immediately followed by sarcastic comments and nasty responses. Yep. We're finally where we belong. <laughs> <laughs> That's the liver and spleen. So they kind of like, kind of have to get along. And they always like, and when they do, they have great crack. They take the piss out of everyone. But it's, when they don't get on, they really don't get on. And so we want to keep them. So what I do is I draw across the spleen energy towards the liver. And it's quite interesting because it's if you think of it from a kind of a, a large intestine point of view, we're kind of pulling back on the flow first, and then we're sending the flow back. So I'm not going to do the full round, but you want to do about 180 swipes. 
one. So that's one, two, three, four. And we're following that rib cage. How does that feel, John? It feels nice. Yeah. It feels soothing. Mm. Feel the pain you caused me. Mm. Oh, <laughs> no. So I'm, sure, you know. huh? I'm sure you'll get your own back. That's the link from the small intestine to the large intestine. It's approximately halfway from the crest of the hip to the belly button. We use scooping. This is to promote lymphatic flow. We're bringing everything back to the belly button. Why would we do that? What's the significance of your belly button? What does it? Your first circulation that you get given is through your belly button, isn't it? From your mum. And that promote that is your blood flow, your blood supply, your oxygen. It's your first source of energy. So bring it back. Bring it back to the centre. And then whatever's left with the belly button lets me know where what direction I've got to go in going forward with you. Can I see your tongue for you? So it's massaging the tissues, kneading the tissues. A lot of our massage techniques in the West come from Greco, Roman, Greek style massage, oil massage, they really use a lot of oils, and then also heavily influenced by Oriental methods too. Although we don't have anything that bears any similarity to, between art in the West.